Well, ladies, after a crazy start to the semester, <laughs> we're finally up and running. It has been crazy. Yeah. Yes, and I'm Kirsten Gibbs, the assistant principal in the high school, and I'm sitting here this morning with Amy Byrne, director of admissions, Brenda Klingerman, our elementary school principal. And we are super excited, not only about the start of the semester, but an information night that we're hosting yes. coming up here next week. Yes. And so that is uh, really focused on the elementary. And mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit um, about who's invited, Brenda. Mm -hmm. Well, we would love to welcome preschool through fourth grade mm -hmm. families that are interested in partnering with us in a Christian education. Uh, that's who we are. Uh, we teach with a biblical integration and we would love to see you and talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. Our actual event is January 18th. That's correct. Thursday, Thursday night, correct? Night. Thursday, Thursday night, night at 530. 5.30. Yes. So yes, we're looking forward to having as many people as we can. We know the weather is unpredictable, but we're really excited about this event. Amy, why should people, mm -hmm. uh, elementary parents or, or parents of young children even consider coming? That's a great question. Um, you know, we can talk about how great it is to be here. We can talk about our curriculum. We can tell you, tell parents about what it's like and what's different about being at Heritage, but you really have to be here and mm -hmm. talk with our current parents and talk with our teachers and our administrators to really get a feel for the school, to understand how the culture is different here, how we really do integrate a biblical worldview. And so being here, getting a feel for the school, walking down the hallways, interacting with people, that really is what a, a family or a parents and children, what they really, um, I think, need in order to make a good decision about where to educate their children. Yeah, I've found that uh, yeah. you can say anything on, online. Right. And uh, we have a wonderful website yes. that tells all about uh, heritage that you're welcome to check that out. Um, but really visiting is what shows really you is. and gives you a feel for the difference. So yes. Brenda, yes. when someone comes next week on Thursday, what can they expect when they visit? Great, I'd bit. love to do that. So uh, we start at 5.30 and we will have some light refreshments for everyone and just a time to interact uh, with other heritage parents, with faculty, staff, administrators. Uh, we think that's important. Uh, there'll be some um, other people, transportation, after school care, clubs, uh, clubs mm -hmm. thank you, mm -hmm. represented there that people can talk to. After that, we want our families or our guests to go to the classrooms yes. and hear Absolutely. from the classroom teachers of the grade level that they're interested in. Those teachers uh, have a heart for what they're doing, they're called to what they're doing, mm -hmm. and you will see their passion mm -hmm. for what they're doing uh, when you hear from them. So sh they will share about the curriculum, they will uh, share what a day in a classroom mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. grade level looks like, mm -hmm. they'll talk about some developmental pieces. Um, so in uh, question answer time yeah. there it's, it's as well kind of some interactive time. absolutely then we want to give you a tour so those yeah. same teachers mm -hmm. that talk to you in the classroom will take you on a tour so you will get to uh, see and interact and do some activities mm. in the stem room mm -hmm. in music in PE uh, in our library where we are this morning mm -hmm. um, and just be able to see the whole picture and um, just get to know us. That's awesome. It sounds like a really robust evening where you could kind of get all your questions answered in one spot. Yes, we I want you great. to come with questions. Yes, yes. 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 And yes. not to focus on food, but Amy, <laughs> isn't, aren't our refreshments some special cupcakes? Absolutely, and... absolutely. We have a family here that owns Sweetie's Bakery, oh, and nice. so we love to work with our families that have businesses in the area, and so Sweetie's Bakery uh, cupcakes will be here. We'll have some fruit, some coffee, water, but it's just light <clears throat> refreshments for the evening. Well, I'm excited about yes. the cupcakes. Yes, 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 yes. the cupcakes so. are great. Yes, so if I'm a parent and I'm watching right now, or I have a friend who thinks that maybe their friend should come, but mm -hmm. they can't next week. Sure. Amy, are there some things that they can do if they're not able to attend? Absolutely, so we have several events um, actually coming up within the next 30 days that a family could attend, as well as other opportunities. So if you can't come 
Thursday night on the on the 18th. We do have an event on Wednesday the 17th. It's a Welcome Wednesday. You guys have been involved in that. Welcome Wednesdays are for parents only, so it's a little bit different. It's a, a smaller, more intimate time, 9 o'clock in the morning till 10.30, but you will get a tour of the school, a chance to talk with administrators. The thing you won't have is that time right in the classroom to talk with the mm -hmm. teachers. Um, but it is a great way to see the school. So that's Wednesday the 17th and the at 9 o'clock. classrooms are in action. On and the classrooms days. are in action, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Then we also have another information night for the entire uh, school population, preschool through 12, and that will be Thursday the 22nd of February. So that's a little bit in advance, but that information is all on our website. But in addition to those scheduled events, we would love to just have a family come anytime during the school day. We offer tours really on request. You can schedule that, you can walk in, whatever works best for your schedule. If you just go onto the website, you can see information there about how to contact us, but we'd love to do that anytime. Mm -hmm. One last question that I, I guess I was thinking is, if someone's sitting out there and they've already maybe attended some of those events, mm -hmm. or they just know that they want their kid to attend, um, mm -hmm. what do I do if I'm ready to apply? Yes, okay, So Amy, you tell us what the next steps are. Sure, absolutely. So once you've been on campus and you've talked with us and you know that this is a place you'd like to pursue, then you fill out an application. And all of our applications are online. <clears throat> so if you go to our website, click on admissions, actually there's a, a button there right there that you can just click on, ready to apply, or apply now I think it might say. Mm -hmm. You can just um, get it started. We do need a couple of things along with the application. Help me remember these. We need to have two years of grades and test scores for those that Correct. have grades and mm -hmm. test scores. The little ones won't have that. We right. know that. Right. And then we have a, a teacher, teacher reference, reference and a family mm -hmm. reference that is a little bit later in the process. But mm -hmm. initially to have those kinds of things would be helpful to get it started. But it's a pretty... Time for school to start. Yes, for school to start. <laughs> well, here we go. It's a pretty easy process, but again, if you have any questions about that, just contact the admissions department and we will be happy to help a family walk through that. Yes, admissions can certainly walk you through the process and, and make it as smooth as possible Absolutely. for you. I know that as I was thinking about uh, information night and even sitting in the elementary school library this morning, I was thinking about, I'm on the other end of things out there in the high school. Mm -hmm. yes. And I was thinking about the number of students that we have that graduate every year that started, yes, that yes. are lifers, as we call yes, them, yes. and have been here for, for their yeah, entire lives. Our children, lives. Our children were <laughs> lifers. One of the unique yes. things about Heritage is that you can come as a elementary school student and, and be on the same campus all the way through um, and graduate in 12th grade. And so it really is a part of what makes us unique mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and an opportunity to be a part of a Christ-centered education all the way through mm -hmm. that has the consistency um, of the educational process. And so as you consider coming next week on Thursday the 18th, starting at 5.30, um, we would love to have you yes. for Come. cupcakes yes. and, learn, and to learn lots about yes. um, elementary school here at Heritage. And certainly if you can register, that's helpful to yes. us as well. There is pre-registration on the website, and that just helps us plan our numbers and if you can let us know in advance that's great but if you forget just show up at 530 and there'll be people in the parking lot that will direct you to the elementary school and get you started so we'll see you next week Thursday 530 <laughs>